Morning, good afternoon, good evening. I go by the name of Caesar, aka Mr. Sneaker Route, and today you're tuned in to yet another episode of Sneaker Route, man. Now today is um, it's gonna be a breeze, and I have a couple of things that I think uh, you should be aware of. A couple of things that are coming out, and a couple capsules, this and that, man, that I think you should be aware of. All right, let's rock out, and um, I appreciate y'all for locking in. Let's go. First things first, New Balance has announced a release date for the New Balance 990 um, V6. Um, and uh, these are looking to go for about 220 to 230 uh, Canadian. Uh, they're going for $200 flat um, USD. And um, they're pretty dope, man. They're, they're gray. The whole thing is just pretty much gray. Um, and um, it, it has a, a, a cool gray, um, far gray kind of vibe. And um, with these ones, I'm not sure, but with the whole resale market and everything that's going on, I'm not too, too sure if these will uh, go crazy, but I do know that people have a, a new craze for New Balance, so it, it might just well um, sell out. But they're pretty cool, um, versatile. I feel they can work with a bunch of items that you have in your wardrobe, and, um, and gray is just a cool color to have. I don't know. I'm a big, big fan of uh, gray myself. Uh, but let me not talk your air off, man. We're breezing on through, man. Let's move on to the next thing that I think you should be aware of. Let's go. All right, so we also have um, the Jordan 1 True Blue, the Jordan 1 High uh, True Blue, and uh, this one has an official release date, and these are set to be released um, in the upcoming year on uh, January the 14th. Um, they will be going for 180 uh, US dollars, and I'm estimating that'll be around about 210 Canadian. And uh, let me tell you something, man, these are looking really, really good. As a big fan of um, red in general, and I told you red and black is my thing, it's my little twist. I'm trying to see if I can keep up red and black as much as I can, and um, you'll see the reasoning behind it, but let me not go off on a tangent. Blue is an incredible color, man, and um, this color, this colorway is um, is pretty dope. I do anticipate that this will definitely sell out. Everyone is gonna just buy these out, man. Um, resale market-wise, not too sure how the, um, these will do, because right now, as I've said, and I'll keep saying until everything levels out, man, the resale market is pretty much shaky, man. Now, I know a couple of things, man, um, in regards to the resale market and the current standings of uh, what's going on. Um, and yeah, you know, great time to buy. So I'm going to say, let's go. As I said, this one will be a breeze. Um, we're just breezing through. I'm um, celebrating the 25 years um, of um, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon has done countless collaborations with different brands, but right now they have done a collaboration with none other than Puma. All right, so um, they will be releasing a ton of sneakers. Specifically, when I say a ton of colorways, um, I'm, I'm talking about like five, all right? Let me not exaggerate. Five uh, different um, sneakers that are inspired by Pokemon and uh, they will be coming out. Um, I will be putting up all the pictures um, just breezing through because today will be a breeze that's um, today's tone will be a breeze man because there's a lot to be done all right but um these will be looking super super crazy um, and um, for anybody out there who's a Pokemon fan I, I wasn't really a big big Pokemon fan growing up um, I, I watched Pokemon but I wasn't really um, a maniac when it came to like you know the fandom that some people have um, I was just pretty much regular with it you know I appreciated it man uh, Pikachu and Charmander and all them but uh, beyond that I never went to too crazy with Pokemon not me nothing wrong with that man because my folks love Pokemon believe me I'm in the tribe of the Pokemon lovers man but uh, I'm not too well versed with them no it'll be a crime if I forget to mention this man um, I don't know how I, I almost glance over this but it is a sneaker that is very fascinating to me um, and I don't know how you guys feel about it. So it's very Vapor Max like. It looks very much like a Vapor Max, um, but it's different. It's different, all right? So um, I'm talking about the Air Max Scorpion that's coming out on the 5th of November. Uh, 5th of November is looking crazy, and um, you know me and my gray. Um, this is a black gray and uh, a little bit of a lime green, electric green, a uh, green on, on the swish. And uh, yeah, the green has a gleam. Yeah, but yeah. Don't mind me, man. I'm living in fast forward. Trust me. Um, but yeah, the green has a little gleam to it. Um, they call this one the Air Max Scorpion Dark Smoke Gray, and they'll be going for $330 um, Canadian. So these um, are looking, they're looking crazy. Now, without word, I'm not quite sure. I would have to see it in hand to um, truly have a true, honest opinion about them because, in my opinion, they look a little bulky. And I already explained to you guys, I'm vertically challenged. I'm not the tallest man in the world. I'm not the shortest either, but I'm just saying. There's some things in some shoes, like the triple S's that we talked about already, that will make guys my height look like hobbits when we walk in. We don't need that. <laughs> 
what else do we have popping off? All right, so with that being said, this is it for um, the drops that are coming up. Um, I will have a couple, like, you know, capsules and collections that are coming up, um, you know, that are coming up. I think I'll just put them all together and I'll keep this very specific um, to sneakers. And then uh, the next one that I'll drop for you guys will be specifically um, capsules and um, all these other things that are coming up that are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, now, the most important thing, you could have been anywhere in the world doing anything. I mean absolutely anything. But you kick back, you stuck it out with me, and for that, you're a real one, you're solid, I appreciate it, all right? Your patience alone is one of the characteristics that makes you a pivotal member in being in the Sneaker Route tribe. So that is the one thing um, that we, we pride ourselves on in our section, is just having patience, communicating, and uh, just walking tall and having pride in yourself. But with that being said, walk tall, think rich, don't bow your head and listen in the face of God, because if you do, you drop your crown and you do not want to do that because you're kings and queens. I go by the name of Caesar, a.k.a. Mr. Sneaker Route, and um, I'm out. If I drive in the Bugatti, you say Illuminati. Holding down my set, mobbing like John Guy. I spit it everywhere like a long nose shot.